Glad you're with us tonight. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And today, Denver Mayor Michael Hancock was joined by domestic violence survivors, also representatives from the Rose Andam Center, to highlight the resources available to victims. Statistics from the Rose Andam Center, which provides support to domestic violence survivors, show one in three women and one in four men experience some form of physical violence by an intimate partner. Well, tonight, Denver 7's Patrick Perez shows the stories of survivors and also the city's message for those in similar situations. Don't wait to ask for A help. walk to remember the victims of domestic violence and the survivors who still carry the pain today. Even when people are convicted and everything, the victims are always the ones that carry most of the burden. Several dozen people marched Monday from the Rose Andam Center to the steps of the city and county of Denver building. Many with stories to share of trauma and triumph. There's resources that I didn't know that we had, and so I decided to be that voice to let people know. Crystal Ryan made her escape from the hands of her abuser more than a decade ago. City leaders celebrated her bravery and thanked her for being a face and voice of domestic violence awareness. If you had to tell me 14 years ago that I would be standing here today with support from the city and county of Denver officials, I would tell you you're darn right because I'm just that strong. To my former abuser, thank you. Your scars did not hinder me. Your scars did not stop me. What they did was make me strong. For some victims and their family members, Crystal's story serves as an inspiration to not wait and seek help. I wish there had been resources um, and a team like we have here in Colorado to help her. Pamela Ramirez lost her god sister, Angela Elizondo, in 2019. Her ex-boyfriend was charged in Wyoming with killing her, but he was later found unfit to stand trial, so the case was dismissed. I'm here because I just told myself after this process, I wanted to take something that was really hard and ugly and turn it into something that was progressive for her. I think that she would be happy that I'm giving a voice and standing up. And while it may be too late for some, these survivors hope their power in numbers sends a strong message home. Patrick Perez, Denver 7. And several buildings across the city of Denver will be lit up in the color purple to recognize Domestic Violence Awareness Month next week. And those include the City and County Building, the McNichols Building, and Ball Arena.